When I say, as a feminist as a woman, you do not initiate. This does not mean that you do not contact the guy first. For example, Rachel, your recent thread is, you know, I almost never initiate any text with a man. Is that the right thing to do? And I see this question a lot, so I wanted to address it. So this means that you do not plan the dates and you do not lead the dating dynamic forward. For example, when do we see each other next? Where are we going? What are we playing? Who's paying for what? When are we going to be in a relationship? When do we get married? Okay, so the, the, the seeing part and like the, the meeting each other part, the setting up dates, the organizing, all of that, that's not on you, that's on him. But what's on you is to make sure that this man knows that you're interested. And I call this, how do you initiate in a feminine way by not leading is signaling, as I call it. So how do you signal is number one, after you go on a date, send him a message, say, thank you so much. I loved our date, for example, if obviously this is the guy you want to see again. Uh, so every time he does something that you like, he says something that you like, make sure to acknowledge that, to appreciate and communicate your feelings. Always communicate your feelings. I felt this, I felt very taken care of. This made me laugh, thank you so much, so on and so forth. So that's really important. And then between dates, for example, because sometimes men can't really judge whether you're interested or not. The masculine men who are very confident with women, which are, by the way, not all men, because this is also a process for them. Uh, the masculine men who have experience with women who really worked on themselves and really developed that confidence capacity, they will pursue no matter what. These are kind of like, I don't want to call them the outlier. And this is actually really important. Not all men will just pursue really hard, right? A lot of them will, the ones who are in strong masculine energy. But I strongly feel that you should not read, like if a man is not coming super strong, no matter what, messaging and leading, that he's not into or he's not in his masculine. That's not true. Some men, I don't know what's the percentage, maybe 20, 30% of men or something. I don't think it is 50, but maybe, I don't, I don't know. Um, but, you know, those types of men, they, they exist and they are in their masculine. They will pursue, they work on themselves. They're like, I know what I want, I'm going for it. And that's the guy that all of us probably want, right? <laughs> but not all men are like that. So there's guys who like, no matter whether you take them or not, they're going for it, right? Now, there's a pool of guys, which I, I honestly think is, and then there's obviously the guys who are in the feminine who want you to do all the work, and that's not who we want. But I feel like there's a pool of men, the untapped potential of the masculine. You know how most women feel intimidated by successful men and men in their masculine energy, like something happens when you see this guy you really like, you like freeze. A lot of men freeze when they find a woman who's confident in herself and especially if she's really attractive, right? Like beautiful women or women who are like in their bodies or whatever. So we are intimidated by men who are in their masculine because we don't know how to act around that. And they're intimidated by our beauty or by, by our femininity or attractiveness. You know, that woman is like, oh shit. And I, I always give the story of this guy who, you know, he was working on like his pickup women game or whatever and he managed to get a number from this woman who was a 10 in his eyes and men have a scale a 10 is like top of the top the most beautiful woman right and then he gets his number and then he struggles for weeks to actually call her and guess what he never calls her he never calls, calls her and he writes about it and he says because i felt unworthy of being around a woman like that think about how crazy that is so there's some things that, and I don't want to say this has happened. This happens for beautiful women. Or, I mean, every woman is beautiful, right? So we don't know what's on the other side. And we don't know whether, I mean, you might just show up with who you are and you like the guy. But he needs a little bit of encouragement, right? And here's how you encourage. Here's how you signal. You tell them, I love the date. Focus on your feeling, communicate, appreciate. And then in between dates, like, don't initiate. When are we going to each other, see each other next or whatever, right? Um, like Jen in our group, my client, um, she said, you know, when I'm with my man and she's in a relationship now, she just sends him a link of a concert. That's it. And he's like, oh, this sounds great. Let me look some dates and book it. Right. So that's a really good example. So how can you do that? How can you like if he's not calling you or whatever after the first, second date and he says he wants to see you? Actually, number one, he just might be busy. So people are busy, people are dating, whatever. This is not about you, this is about him. So that's number one, always keep in mind, that's why I always recommend dating more than one man at a time so that you don't focus on just one guy. The second thing is 
send him some you you can text men and you can initiate conversations but these conversations have to be like sending him something funny something cute like take a photo i don't know something you talked about let's say you were in the first date and you talked about um i don't know this australian native flowers like i'm looking at australian native flowers so like oh what so, so ask yourself what reminds me of him and what is a photo that i can send him what is a song that i can send him what is a trailer that i can send him a video so not initiating a conversation about okay where is this going when we see each other next time free on saturday none of that just signaling and kind of like you know when you're fishing you're doing the bait <laughs> Just, just, just dropping the bait. Yeah. Dropping. You know how you walk around. There's this old classic trick that women women did to get a man's attention. They're walking by and they like drop the handkerchief, um, and he like oh picks it up, right? Like do have an opening, right? Do an opening. Drop your handkerchief in texts, right? And this could be again an image, a picture, a picture of you, um, a picture of other things, a video, a link, something that really reminds you of him or like just three words, right? So so this is how he will know that you're interested because a lot of men sometimes doubt that you're interested and they don't want to be like chase uh, not they don't want to be in your space, right? And so if you're doing that and he's not initiating, assume that he's busy and then keep dating other men and keep focusing on yourself and then also know that you have shown interest and this is how you avoid this thing like you know because some men will message you and say you never text is there a reason why right you don't want to be awkward you're like as long as you're initiating but but obviously not too much in between dates and always by the way initiate less like it should be less than him uh, and like if you if he's mirror mirror his language and mirror his behavior towards you you don't want to end up with a man sending you like a line how are you and like you're writing him a paragraph like avoid that but drop a signal drop a man, drop the handkerchief and that's how he'll know you're interested and if he's not initiating after that move forward right there's plenty of amazing men there and that means that you've you've shown him that you're interested he's not picking up the handkerchief that means he's either busy, might come back, doesn't matter, or he's not interested.